I need more storage. Now, I'm going back down to my designer laundry room to check my paintings. Actually, I call it that because I watch a lot of decorating, organization, decorating, uh, small spaces. Honestly, I do, but it, it takes money to do stuff. It takes money to build shelves. Now, we've been trying to get a hold of some of the free pallets that they have at the different um, factories, businesses, whatever. They do have free pallets out by the road, but then you have to get them home. And they don't fit in the car. And they usually have like long nails and I'm like four to six inches long. Some of them are four by fours, uh, some two by fours. And I don't know, stand there and take them all apart. Or We do get some home and built one little shelving unit here. But the basement, they really need shelving units get organized. Anyways, so anyways, I call it the designer, my designer laundry room because I was watching this decorating show the other day and she was doing organization too and stuff and she goes and now for the laundry room and she walks into this big beautiful laundry room that's just gorgeous and covers and windows and you know it's a room room <laughs> I'm thinking yeah welcome to your world uh, so sarcasm I now call it my designer laundry room Oh well, anyways, it serves the purpose, and I have one, and I am so thankful because I went laundromat for years, years and years and years, and it's not nice, and this place is a heck of a lot warmer than a lot of places I've lived in, and a heck of a lot bigger than a lot of places I live in. If you rent a place, it's $300 a month. It's so funny because people say, how do you get rent for $300 a month? <laughs> how do you think? I was married, we paid $300 a month. There's no insulation on the floor, there's pretty much no insulation in the walls, and there's only like an outdoor thin little tiny layer over the floor, and it's cold, and that's why you get rent for $300 a month. Anyways, paintings. They're dry now, so I'm going to take a look at them. Just coming in the tiny basement window here. There's no other light on. Now, turn on our wonderful bare bulb designer lighting. Ooh, don't look directly at the light. That's not bad. I like a painting I can look at that I have a lot to look at when I'm looking at it. Does that make sense? And then this is the other one, which I didn't touch a whole lot. I just basically rubbed it over the other one. Now, I have to remind you, if you haven't watched the other videos, these are canvases that my daughter had in high school. And she actually started to do paintings on them. So when you can see a little bit like this here darker spot. It was a little bit of a painting. I think this one here pretty well, well covered up. Not on purpose. It was just the way it worked out, honestly. But she didn't, She never finished them. Or she didn't want them. No, they weren't finished. But she's like 22 and she did them like five, six, seven years ago. And I asked her and she's like, I'm not going to... She wasn't going to finish them. She didn't want them. They were just abstract paintings that she did in school that she never finished or not even necessarily in school but she did like five years ago or so and and uh, she's been painting really beautiful nice pictures since been painting beautiful nice pictures I'd, I have one painting on my wall upstairs I think I just had the one from my youngest daughter and my oldest daughter, I'd really like to get one of hers off her for my wall. <clears throat> now this is one that my youngest did in school. Now I've, I've already put some paint over it. I've already started to play with this a little bit. But she 
didn't finish it. Like a lot of this I've added. <clears throat> Sorry. And I'm not sure because this has a lot of her original work, obviously. And then it has a fair bit of what I've added to it. But I'd like to add a little sparkler bling to it or something. 